Hello, it's Get Carter here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. So I've moved the rover to the new temporary location. I've also thrown down a merge block here, which what I'll do is I'll stick some landing gear on the world of grinder, and we'll pick up this battery here, and we'll plonk it down over there. So right now I've just got this battery charging a tiny bit. Just so it's got enough power to power the merge block because otherwise we're not going to get very far so i've set up my drills i think slightly rearranged from last episode so it gets all the rock and the drilling down uh, i've fully extended one piston and just need to extend the other uh, i have finally ground down the, for the medical supplies this survival kit and this one is now uh, fully operational so the only thing I left to do is I'm going to uh, grind down this part of the base here, maybe dig out a little bit of the space there, and then start putting in basically the, the start of the permanent base, which I have an idea about, but uh, not an exact idea about. But we'll see how we go. I can always rip it up and change it slightly if I'm not happy with it. So what I'll do now is I'll just jump in the grinder. Uh, I might try to get rid of... where are you? Get there, get there, and what have you got that I can dump stuff into? Are you full? You're not full. Uh, it's not the best organization but just to empty out everything's in here and a lot of large pipes oh, there's some more large pipes yeah better there's nothing in there slowing us down or we'll take up space so we'll uh, glitch out the screen a bit tell you what go there it's easier what we want is, I'm going to disconnect the connector, turn on the batteries, turn on the at, at my thrusters, and unlock. And what I also want to do, which I forgot, is swap the... Uh, where's the connector? I'm going to put this power down to 0 0.01, because I was having trouble... Yeah, I'm still having trouble. Disconnecting from it. I might drop the power down of that connector as well, but what I'll do right now is start Let's meet trees. It'll be easier once I can just go into the hangar. We're going to start grinding down. Yeah, we've got. Might as well have the lights on, even though they're not effective yet. The lights will start working soon enough. Alright, so I'll grind this down. And once it's ground down, I will... Uh, I'll be back and we'll go on to the next thing. Okay, we're just grinding away the last of the large pieces. There is uh, a conveyor tube down there that I'm not going to bother to try to dig out because there's terrain in the way, but this is starting to get pretty heavy and a bit sluggish so the rest of it I might clear out by hand it's only plates so it won't take long to grind down although possibly we can it's all projected isn't it yeah so get rid of all of that we've just got some things down there it's a bit hard to get to and I think I would like to put all of this back for the moment and not hit the that and so if we can where are we get level and moving closer and not hit my rover I might have to rethink this because I'm going to hit it I know I'm going to hit it sooner rather than later level uh, how much I've got lots of 
um, battery power. What I might do is, while this is down, can I get two? Yes. Let's drop your power down to 0 0.01. So it's a little bit easier to disconnect. Turn off the light. It still tries to connect, so that's all good. So we will lock in that. We'll turn off the Atmo. We'll connect to that. And what do we want? Recharge. So it's not draining the batteries. And what we can do is get rid of. We don't have to empty it yet because I don't think I need to do anything yet. I will need to move this, but we might be able to uh, get that to wait. You, you got to go. You got to go. I think that was all of that. Um, get rid of you while we're here. Yeah, how much space have we got? Not to do you. Ah, that one interior plate. I tell you what, can I just no? Just get rid of it. Come here. Uh, what are you? Can I just get rid of you somehow? Ah. Uh, you do. Yeah, so everything will go in there now. I think I could have used one of those buttons to do it, but I didn't. Last one. Gotcha. Alright, what I want to do now is fall down a hole. Probably not. Drill out a little bit of this bit. This is going to be the entrance and basically the uh, possibly elevated but stairs going down. And these three are going to be the hangar bays. And these empty spots, as per I think last episode, are going to do going to be the hangar bay doors. I had to put them really. I had to put them low because I didn't want to accidentally dig through. Where are you? Um, up around here because it slopes pretty far back so I wanted to make sure I well and truly avoided uh, doing that so I'll go get the uh, I'll go get some hydrogen nope wrong button go get that I'll jump in the miner and I'll dig out a little bit of that space and I'll come back when that's done Alright, so I've just about dug out uh, a little layer of that area. Now it's a bit hard to see at night with the projection in the way, but that'll just give me a little bit of clearance. I can go in and dig some more if I have to. Uh, it's got a relatively low profile, this thing, so if I'm careful and I see I need to, I can just go and dig it a little bit more. But hopefully this will be enough for a bit. I'm just about as loaded up as I want to be with this thing. Though a bit more wouldn't hurt. It being daytime probably wouldn't hurt either. Alright, so what do you got? Ah, that'll give me a bit of extra space. No. Uh, let's not go run into the drills. Uh, what we'll do is. Is that going to be enough clearance? Should be enough clearance. Find out if it wasn't. Uh, what have we got? Uh, you go up here. There you go. Let's lock in the legs. And we will. Turn off that, that's not right. Connect to that and then get it on recharge so it doesn't flatten the battery. Uh, turn the lights off maybe. Alright, so that mined out a bit of that. Uh, how's it looking? Whew, could have done a bit more over here. That's right, we'll see how we go with that. We might just have to mine that out by hand. 
the actual I want basically the rim of the hanger to be level all the ways around so where are you so it'll be one block down from here I think that's what we're gonna do probably I'll set it on this level here so where that um, where the old rover landing was is the level I'll do the base but what I'll do is get some components actually what I might do is come back and dig out more of this and then get some components if I get rid of that that's not anything yeah get rid of that I might just dig this out a little bit more because uh, I don't think it dug out enough and then I'll come back alright so ignoring colors because I haven't decided what colors I'm going to do I was thinking this would be the I suppose observation deck sort of main entrance to the base where you've got a lobby that looks over the hangar entrance that's my fuel so basically an internal wall there and now I want to use heavy slopes but that will be expensive so I'm not sure whether I'm going to use light armor blocks or heavy armor blocks. I would prefer heavy armor blocks for the entrance to the base and the hangar. Um, and after that is just going to be block like either heavy armor or whatever blocks going down into the actual hangar itself to where the doors are. I turn the projector off just to make it easier to see. So basically just repeat that pattern all the way across and put a uh, like a mini control tower at this end and that's what the glass will basically hang off or possibly um, the hangar bay on this side but I have not figured out that bit as yet so I'll do this pattern a little bit more I'm not going to actually weld it all into place because I've not got the resources for that yeah, you can climb up there too uh, just to extend this pattern out and get a better look at it. So I'll be back when I've done that. Alright, I've got my rough idea about what I want to do for the, f or the hanger facing part of this. So I'm going to get... have that slope going down and just full blocks going down beyond that. Uh, we're going to go along to here and that's basically going to be the the main entrance to the base through here and I'll put I'll put stairs in I'm not sure where yet I might put an elevator in um, maybe an elevator going down and basically looking out over the hangar as you go down or stairs or both haven't decided so the idea is going to be entrance here and I'll have stairs or elevator or both eventually uh, this is going to be a separate area sealed off and this is going to lead up to the tower basically so the control tower to oversee things coming in with the uh, graded stairs what I'm going to do is feed this conveyor tube up from down wherever I stop the stairs uh, as a means to feed turrets on the top and to give people the ability to basically access the bases inventory I was thinking of putting um, a way to access the base's inventory in the main lobby but I probably won't do it in this bit uh, I'll probably do it elsewhere what I do want to do is have um, basically vehicle parking uh, sort of out next to the lobby area where you could park sort of small rovers as a sort of I suppose a visiting visiting area uh, I need to remove these drills as well because I've dug down to the bottom for that. How much fuel have I got? Just so I don't get stuck down there because I've got my drill. Uh, I think these are pretty much well done now. Yeah. Alright, so we've got a bit of this area dug out now. I want to uh, redo the drills so try to dig out a chunk. I've got. How many drills have I got? Eight. 
might see if I can go to 10 drills. Uh, just to try to do as much as possible at a time. And obviously that'll get us a bunch more iron and the other elements as well. So what I'll do is... Uh, this is a long corridor sliding door as well. I did originally have the other type of door there, the half door, but uh, I thought it f it was better to have the half or to have that type of door. Where are we? There a second. Just because this one sort of... I don't know, when you put blocks next to it, it just doesn't really... I don't know. I might change it still, but I felt this one, for where it was and what it w was for, it was a better option. But anyway, I'll do a little bit more planning and I'll figure out where I'm going to do the entrance. And um, where I might put stairs. I would like to do an elevator. Going down. But I'll have to figure out how I'm going to fit that in just because I can't have blocks colliding. And it might be better not to have the elevator right next to the glass, although I would like that. And I'll have a think about it, and I will be uh, back when I've completed some more. Okay, I think I know roughly how I'm going to have the design. So there will be. Uh, like rover parking bays there and I've got a ramp leading up here we'll have some plants uh, along there got the door here now the outer blocks I don't know what they're gonna be made of whether it's heavy armor or light armor or what I'll use got another plant here and dispenser we want there and you've got the railing here so basically what I want to have it be is feel like you're basically going into a checkpoint where someone will check your ID and make sure you belong in here. We've got a little bit of a waiting area with some couches looking over the hangar entrance. And then we've also got, I'll probably put, I'm not sure what I'll do here. I want to Put, I wanted to put the rails here so I can't put windows directly on here. I might have to uh, push it out slightly to the windows. So this bit here may change. But we go down here, down the ramps, and this will be the entrance into the base. I'll stick um, an elevator in here, and what I'll do is I won't have glass looking out into the hangar until uh, you drop below the actual hangar doors which is around here so you'll basically go on an elevator you won't be able to see out until you drop I don't know seven odd or eight odd blocks and then you'll actually see the hangar uh, and we've obviously got our little slopes here Yeah, so I might try to weld some of that up, although that's a lot of resources just for that. Yeah, but I think that'll look pretty good. I also want to... Oh, we've also got uh, a bit over here. I'll put like a authorised personnel only sign of some sort around here. And what I also intend to do is to have a small turret basically sitting up on the next block. So if you can imagine... Uh, do we, what's your scaling turret? Interior turret, that's what I want. Have an interior turret sitting there, and I'll feed it via uh, this connector going up to the tower. I'll basically probably pack it up a couple, bring it, and if I need to, I'll bring it down from up higher. And that'll be our interior turret for basically anyone being in here that shouldn't be in here. 
Anyway, that's what I... I think that's what'll look alright for the sort of lobby entrance to the base. I didn't really have any railings uh, that I could put easily uh, down here just because of the nature of ramps. So hopefully this will look alright. But um, I'll see what it looks like when it's welded up. All of this is subject to change anyway. If I don't like the look of it, I will try something different. I thought this would be good to have like a steering you into a choke point. Someone sitting there saying, all right, show me your ID. All right, so what I'll do is I might do a little bit of drilling and maybe try to weld up a little bit of this. I've still got to do lights, but uh, I'll probably just use lights in the ceiling. A lot of these blocks are angled, or will be angled, so I won't be able to put lights on the wall. So we'll just basically try for ceiling lights and see what we can do with that. What I'll also do is I'll start putting the uh, if I go down one more, I'll start putting some of the refinery. Actually, no, I was going to say some of the refinery stuff, but I don't want to do that until I've dug out the hangers. So I need to dig out my hangar bay doors, dig out more of this, dig out more of that, basically dig out everything. So I'll get some of that stuff done, and then I'll come back. Alright, so I've been doing some digging, or mining, grinding, and uh, built up a little bit more. I'll just grind down this, and then I will show what I've done, if I manage not to screw this up. Now, I managed to have this run out of power, because I wasn't paying attention to it. Uh, when it was resting, obviously there wasn't enough power going through to recharge it properly. And with continual grinding and welding, it basically uh, you know, fall out. dropped out of the uh, sky. Luckily, it was on, it was a relatively short drop, and nothing got damaged. I just had to uh, attach some solar panels to it to give it some power. Luckily, it was during daylight, so. I just put about eight solar panels on it and let it charge up a bit so I had enough power to get back uh, to the connector. And because of that, I threw up another six turbines just to get more power because it wasn't just wasn't charging fast enough. And now I've got lots of power. Here we go there. There, all right. Well, I'll grind up Trying to get on the other side because that's where the um, and trying to get level. This thing doesn't really like to move a lot, especially when it's got a whole bunch of drill parts in it. That one. And we're gonna get rid of you. Alright, I'll set up the next one and I'll be back. Alright, so we're just doing the final bit here, and that's ready for the next round of digging into the ground. Put you back over here. I can't see. Make sure I don't hit the rover. I can light up things correctly. There, all right. Pop that in, pop that in, that's off, that's recharge. Didn't have the lights on. Yeah. Right, that'll be ready to go. So now I've as I said before, I've threw in some more turbines for power because the batteries just weren't charging fast enough. And we've done a bit more. Let's go get some gas. I've done a bit more of here. I don't know if this is going to be the final design, but 
this is what I'm going to go with. So we've got basically glass uh, all the way around there. We'll have a roof on here. The tower is going to be over this side. Basically, it's going to be stairs going up. So I'll take the stairs up one more, one more round, and then I'll put the tower up there. We've got um, conveyor tube going in, just so we can access uh, the base of storage, which will be useful, and also to feed a turret on the tower. And I'm going to put a turret um, in the middle of here, basically, because I've got the conveyor junction coming up here for the small um, inside turret. So we're going to do that. And over here, I've uh, I think I've constructed these ones. I've put blue here for the moment, but I'll I'll see what color I ultimately ultimately make it. I haven't decided yet. So over here, what I've done is just set up basically a sort of a visitor vehicle parking, you could say. And this one's going to be this is heavy armor, which is that thrusted damage enabled. So this one's going to be just like a visiting vehicle, visiting uh, aircraft, or sort of small, small aircraft. And we've just got stairs going down to the ground. I'll probably look at changing, because this is just boxy. So I'll, I'll look at changing um, how these are done, how the sort of pillars are done, whether I move it inside one and put angles on it, but that is for another day, not today. So it's not the, might not be the final uh, design I go with, but that will be roughly the design of that. And then obviously you come in here and you've got the check-in desk and we've got that. And I took away the stairs because I was doing it, the mining. So obviously you've got the stairs going down and you've got the sort of security entrance here, the stairs. So I've just got to do more digging. That's probably what's slowing me down the most is actually chunking through all of that stone, which is actually quite a lot. Uh, so I'll leave it. Leave it here. I'll try to dig out a fair bit more. I want to dig out this area so I can get um, basically temporary base done. So figure out so if I turn the projector back on oh yeah. so these two blocks here are my hangar bay doors. So to get the to get the hangers in, it's basically going to be this level is where I can put the hangers in. I only need one block between the um, the doors and the floor. Although I want to have a one block space so technically I want that'll be the bottom of the hangar doors that'll be like a crawl space if I'm going to stick tubing in and that would be the roof of the hangar yeah so the first hangers are going to be fairly deep down but that's fine I want to have the extra space so I'm a little bit freer in how I how I design them and I'm fine with digging digging deep into the ground. Right. So I'm going to call it there and hopefully next time I come back I would have dug out a bunch more of this area. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.